Hello there, everybody. How we doing? Good? Great. So, basically, the premise of this video is to find out if a list of upcoming free agents a team. I don't know why I said a list. I was just reading a list. But anyway, um, if a team of upcoming free agents could win the Stanley Cup. So, I have created a team here called the Alaska Agents. And I've made our logo this crab simply because I've never used it before. And so we're just going to pretend that this crab knows something we don't. And it's a secret agent. Or, or it just represents NHL players. You know, that's also a possibility. So, yeah. Uh, here's the roster. I kind of went through a list on, I can't remember the website, Sp Spot Track or something? Something. Anyway, um, yeah. We look very good. <laughs> very, very good. There's a lot of solid upcoming free agent players. So, that being said, I think the chances of them winning the cup, pretty solid. But we'll find out. And if any of these players sign, by the way, by the time this video comes out, my bad. Alright? But that's a, that's a risk I'm willing to take. So... Let's go put this team in the NHL, which, by the way, I'm going to have to get rid of a team. I don't know who to get rid of. I'll just randomize it again, I suppose. But, yeah. Here we go. Let's do this thing. Okay, we're randomizing a team, but this is not a fantasy draft. We're randomizing a team to find out who we're taking out. Boom. Man, they're going to be like a top competitor. I don't want to take them out. I'm sorry. I want to try and take out a team that maybe isn't going to do so good. So that way, you know, if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. So we're going to take out... Ah, uh, they're pretty good too. Okay, hold on. Let's keep it going here. They were the team facing off against Colorado in the conference finals this year. So, boom. Really? Another conference finals team? If we land on Tampa Bay next, I'm actually going to lose my bananas. Okay. Boom. All right. They're good too. Come on, man. Let's go here. Make, give me a non-playoff team. Boom. They did make the playoffs. Crypto.com Arena. Just for that, you're gone. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. We're booting out LA, and I am currently wearing an LA hat. Yeah, I do be like that sometimes. But anyway, Alaska. They are now tossed into the mix. They are 94 overall. Tampa Bay is 92. So we're only two overall better than Tampa, which is pretty crazy. As well as Carolina. They are 92. Florida's 91. Uh, Colorado's 91. All right, let's do this thing. Now I'm kind of used to doing all trades accepted, but due to the fact that uh, if, if a star goes on waivers, then yeah, let me know just so I could see what's going on and trade offer notification just so we can see if it's interesting or not. But obviously we're not trying to make any trades here because we want to see if this team can win the cup as is. So yeah, I turned off the salary cap as well, but we should be good to go. Alaska... Let's do this thing. Let's enter the NHL and find out what lines we're going to have, actually. I'm curious. How is the AI in this game going to put the lines together? So let's do edit lines. And let's do best lines. Okay, no. Best lines. Boom. There we have it. A plus three, a plus two, zero, and then this mess down here. Okay, Kadri, third line centerman. Holy smokes. I'm just going to leave it. You know what? I am going to leave it. If that's what they say the best lines are, uh, then so be it. Okay, what about the defense? Oh, not good. All right, I do kind of want to address that a little bit. Sure. We'll move Yandel up to the first pair. He can play with Latang, Klingberg, and Edler, Letty, and Manson. Yeah. What about goaltenders? That's right. We got Flower, baby. Marcus Andre will be our starting goaltender. Kemper will be the backup. Scratched players. We got Kessel, Raquel, and Sherratt. There should be more than that, I feel like. But they might be in the minors or something. So if I go to the system. Yeah, we got Kopp down there. Strom, Trocek, Burakovsky. Oh, my word. We got Subban down there as well. But I guess, yeah, we, we just don't really have room. Hmm. Kind of want to call some of these players up and see what happens. I mean, we don't have a salary cap, but our roster is full. So if I go to here, if I scroll all the way down, who can I get rid of? I could get rid of Domi, I guess. Yeah, that'll work. Palat will keep for now. And 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Defenseman, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so who who was the the scratched defenseman? It's got to be one of these lefty. I just don't know who it was. Oh, man, I'll go find out. All right, so uh, these two are going down, and I'm bringing up Cop and Trocheck just to see if they get put into the mix here. So confirm, go to edit lines, and I'll just do best lines once again. And yeah, Cop is in there now, but they still do not like it. Okay, interesting. I mean, obviously, one of them had to get put in because we did send down Domi, but... Or, hold on. Yeah, we still got Raquel, Kessel, and Trocheck there scratched as well. So you know what? If they're not going to put in Raquel or Kessel, maybe I'll send them down and bring up two of the other 85s to see if they fit in. All right, no, it looks like these are the lines that the game is sticking to. And we brought up... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Burakovsky is in somewhere. Hold on. They brought out Palat, and Andre Burakovsky is here now. Okay. Yeah, there you go. He is on the fourth line, and that chemistry is still horrendous. Oh, well. What can you do? It's what the game wants. I'm going to keep it. Not keeping this, though. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. There you go. This is the team. We should realistically win the cup, or at least get very close. But, uh, yeah. First round exit. Inbound. So we start off the year 0-2. But, you know, we're making a little bit of a comeback here. Oh, my word. Not the strongest start for Alaska. Wow. Wow, what's going on? What the heck? Dude, I gotta see what is behind the simulation engine in this game. I mean, to be honest, we're probably gonna pick it up and start doing insane out of nowhere. But this it just doesn't make sense to me. What is going on? Are you kidding? This is an absolute joke. Wow. How are we 18, 18, and 5 right now? I do not understand this game. Entering the deadline just to see what's going on. Sorokin Kemper is apparently on the block. So that's a thing. Uh, Perron, not our Perron though. Campbell's also on the block. Huso, not the Huso on our team. Not the Kessel on our team. Not the Letty on our team. Not the Suvan on our team. Yeah, they're basically just trying to get rid of players who are expiring this year, I guess. But anyway, let's find out if we're even going to make the playoffs or not. At this rate, it's almost seeming like we are not. But, yeah, still quite a bit of hockey left here. Maybe we'll end up qualifying. Probably. Yep, we did end up making it into the playoffs. So let's find out who got points. All right, Goudreau put up 75. Yeah, and speaking of Goudreau, the Calgary Flames finished first in the Pacific Division. Let's find out who finished first in the league. The Toronto Maple Leafs with 112. Uh, my bad. Did not mean to back out of that so quick. I want to see at least if it was the top 16. I want to check every time. No, it was not. The... Hold on. Am I missing something here? I swear there's only 15 teams. Oh, never mind. Okay, yeah. So, we finished 15th in the league. We're mid-pack. Which, honestly, to me, makes no sense. But maybe someone in the comments can make some sense of it. Anyway, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run it back. And we're going to try this again with exactly the lines that Bob here has assembled. So, we will try that as well. I just wanted to do one with best lines. But, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Just not getting points somehow. There you go. Goalies. Uh, he just did not do good. Wow, that is a rough go from Flower. Uh, Kemper did all right. 9-3-1 with two shutouts and a 9-28 save percentage. Jack Campbell led the league with 44 Ws. And down here we have a 9-21 from Not Our Kemper and a 9-21 from Demko. Also, you see what I see Soros down there with a 9-21. Defenseman Hedman got 76. Okay. All right, I see you. McAvoy, 70. Carlson, 68. Oh, let's go... Hold on. Where the heck is Kale McCarr? Really? Okay. Crosby with 101. Bergeron with 100. Not our Bergeron. Of course not. Uh, Kane with 99. Marchi, 98. Pasta, 91. Nate Mack, 87. McDusty, 87. Okay. So, 
Let's simulate the playoffs and find out what happens. Will it be the vintage first round exit? Not really looking like it. No, we get past Vancouver relatively easily. And now we get Smashville, who takes us out. Splendid. All right, reload the ting. We are doing it again with exactly the lines that Bobby has provided me. All right, I'm just gonna do season mode this time and sorry, Arizona, but I am substituting you. Let's go to custom teams and toss in Alaska, 94 overall. Uh, nope, I do not want to control the Jets. I want to control Alaska, whoopsies. And start season, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna use the lines right here. Here's the lines that I have assembled. So we got Goudreau, Kadri, and Smith together on the first line. Yep, that checks out. All right, uh, Forsberg, Malkin, Perron, Kessel, Bergeron, and Kane, Palat, Giroux, and Rodriguez. On defense, we got Sherratt and Latang, Klingberg, Letty, Dahan, and Manson, and Annette, Kemper, backed up by Campbell. So yeah. Let's start the season and see if we can do better this time. All right, we are already roaring with a very solid record of 13-5-2. We are now sort of falling, but not really. Yeah, the team's doing much better than the franchise one. So I don't know, maybe chemistry came into play or something. Line chemistry and it affected them or the coach. I don't know, but... In season mode, they're doing much better. Or maybe Bob is just the ultimate coach. He knows better than the game. And, you know, it, it, <laughs> the lines that Bob has assembled are better than the auto lines. All right, so we are just apparently flying past the trade deadline. Normally it says, hey, trade deadline's here. You want to you wanna do something? Not this time. This time it just said, yeah, we are flying through that. Well, let's check out some stats, shall we? 84 from Malkin. Okay, we finished second in the central with 106 points. And it's good enough for third in the league. All right, that, that's more like it. That's more like it. Now we're talking top 16 teams did in fact make it. The Tampa Bay Lightning, not one of those. That is very odd. Uh, but yeah, let's look at the player stats. Malkin with 84, Kadri 79. Goudreau 79, Forsberg 63, and scroll through the team there. Okay, goaltenders. We got not great. Not great, really. A 900 and a 283 from Kemper, but he still won a lot. And Campbell at 893. What is up with that? It's playoff time, which means a first round exit. No, we got past the mini wild. We're going up against Colorado now. That was semi-light work, and going up against the Edmonton Oilers, who finish off the Alaska Agents. Yeah, and they end up winning the Stanley Cup. Okay, so there you go. They did much better in season mode, but still couldn't get the cup. Malkin with 20 points in 17 playoff games. Forsberg point a game there. Did the goalies at least do better here? No. I mean, Campbell did well, but I don't know what's going on with these tendies, but man, they are not playing great. Well, anyways, guys, I thought that was pretty interesting. So thank you for that suggestion and for tagging me on that on the tweeter machine. And yeah, that's about it. I'll see you soon.